an appearance in the first Cotton Bowl on New Year's Day of 1937, capped off one of the most successful seasons in Marquette football history. That squad, which competed in the fall of 1936, began the season with seven straight victories and was ranked as high as fourth in the Associated Press Top 20 poll. The Golden Avalanche was led by head coach Frank Murray, the longest tenured coach in program history, and a member of both the M Club and the College Football Halls of Fame. All-American left halfback Buzz Bouvid led a high-powered Marquette offense and finished third in the Heisman Trophy balloting that season. Bouvid was joined in the offensive backfield by the fleet-footed Gip Twins, Al and Art. At a time when the forward pass was still being perfected, Bouvid led an aerial assault on college football's elite. Fullback Ward Cuff was also a key cog in the Marquette offense before he went on to star with the New York football giants in a Hall of Fame NFL career. Cuff, along with Ray Sonnenberg, anchored the Marquette defense. The Golden Avalanche ended its campaign against Sammy Baugh and TCU in a game billed as a duel between the nation's two premier passers. At the Texas State Fairgrounds, Art Gipp scored Marquette's lone touchdown on a 60-yard punt return in a 16-6 loss to the Horned Frogs. Marquette opened this historic season on October 3rd by defeating in-state rival University of Wisconsin at Camp Randall Stadium and down St. Louis on October 10th before 30,000 spectators at Chicago's Soldier Field. At Marquette Stadium for its home opener, the Golden Avalanche shut out Kansas State on October 17th and entered the AP rankings when the squad welcomed Michigan State later that month. Marquette overpowered the Spartans for a 13-7 victory and headed back to Soldier Field for an intersectional clash with St. Mary's of California. On October 30th, 50,000 fans saw Marquette trounce the Gales to secure their spot among college football's elite. Marquette climbed to number four in the national rankings following its defeat of St. Mary's and pulled out a one-point victory at Creighton on November 7th. The Golden Avalanche claimed its final home contest, a 33-0 beating of Mississippi on November 14th, a game in which Art Gipp rushed for three touchdowns and Bouvet passed for a pair. With a berth to the Rose Bowl hanging in the balance, Marquette traveled to Pittsburgh on November 21st to take on Duquesne. The Dukes pulled out a 13-0 victory and an Orange Bowl invitation, while the Golden Avalanche accepted a bid to the first Cotton Bowl, one of six bowl games at the time. For their trailblazing efforts in what has become one of college football's most storied events, the Marquette M Club Hall of Fame is proud to induct the men of the 1936 football team.